Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is longest zigzag path in a binary tree. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given a root of the binary tree. Don't worry, I will show you with an example as well. But a zigzag path for a binary tree is defined as, again, according to the following conditions, choose any node in the binary tree and a direction, left or right. Then if the current direction is right, then you will move to the right side of the current node. Otherwise, you will choose to the left node, left side. Now, change the direction from right to left or left to right at every node. And then repeat the second and third process until you cannot move more inside the tree. Now, zigzag path is defined as the number of node visited minus one. Cool. And return the longest zigzag path contained in that tree. You just have to return the length of it. So, let's take this as an example. What you can see here is if I take this, what you can see is that if I start from here, I will first move. If I'm first moving, let's say right, then I have to move left. Okay, but this is of length two only. But what you could have also done is that if I start from this node, I will move right, then left, then right, then I have to move left. So there is nothing. So the total length is three. And that is the maximum length of zigzag path you can do over this tree. So you can start from any node, you can end at any node, depending just the condition that you have to make the longest path. Okay, that is the problem statement for this total problem. Now, uh, so what you'll actually have to understand is that the constraints are pretty large. Type trade of four. So you cannot do this in a very brute force way for, for every node find out what is the largest uh, length of the, you can say, uh, zigzag path from that particular node. You cannot do that. So in that scenario, what you can see is that I have to somehow store some value. Now, what is the value I want to store? The value I need to store here is that what is the longest path I had made for a particular node such that and what is the node I want to go to next if I have reached there. Let's take some small examples to understand it more clearly. Let's make this node only, or let's make this tree, or just, uh, oh yeah, okay, let's make this tree small. So that it will become more clear. So this is a tree like this, so there's some here, and there's some node here like this. Okay, so we have to somewhat store some value. And that value will be, what is the maximum, let's say, path, I have created till this node. Okay, that is the overall idea. Let's say I start from the very first node. Okay, just leave for the very first node. If I just go to the very right, I have landed on this road. If I have landed on this node, let's say I, I go to this right, I'm going to right of this particular node. So I have done one length of traversal. I have done one length of traversal. And I have landed reaching this by right, by doing a right move. So so what it eventually means that for this particular node, I have a maximum length of one and I've reached it by going a right. Now, I have two options from this particular node. If I go on the left of it, so if I have right, then if I go to the left of it, what, what it means? I am moving in the zigzag manner. So the length will become two. Just try to fill these values for this particular tree. If I go to the right, left hand side, uh, my zigzag path will become of length two and I have reached there by going to a left because I'm going to the left. Okay. But if I want to go this path, this is invalid because I have to somewhat make a zigzag path. So there are two cases. Either I will follow the zigzag path like this and you have these values which are giving us the length or if I go in the opposite direction, which eventually means that I will start from this node. If I start from this node and I'm going to the right hand side, what it means that if I'm going to the right hand side, this is of length one and I have reached this node by traversing one on the right hand side. I hope you understand what I'm trying to build here. So what it eventually means that if at any node, I have two options. If this is right on the left side, I will increase the value and make it just switch it. I will make it left. And if I go in the, if I land on the right direction node, like if I land on a node which has a right, and if I go to the right again, I will make it one again and I will make it right again. Why? Because now I am assuming that this is the node I will start from. I'm starting from this node. 
and I'm going one step on the right and I've taken this right path. So this is one of the lengths that I've created and this I, this I, node I've landed by doing one right path. Now, if I go, go to the very left, I will do the same procedure. If I want to go, if I, I have, let's say R on this node, if I go on the left hand side, I will mark as increment, increment this value, I will make it left. Now, if I go to right hand side, I will again make it one R. Now from left, again, I have two options. If I go on the left hand side, or let's say if I just reverse it, if I go on the right hand side, then again, I am following the zigzag path. So I will again, if I land on the left side, I will mark it three and make it R. But if I go on the left hand side, which means that I have taken this as the very first node, then this will have length one, I have landed I'll. And I've landed it through a left path. I hope you understand how this complete tree is somewhat building and how I'm using two values for every node. What is the longest value I can reach by doing a zigzag path to this particular node? Or what is the path? What is the, let's say, uh, let's say direction I have landed this node from. I have landed this node from a right, doing a right, uh, let's move. So I have to next do a left move then. So that is how you can just do a, let's say, complete tree. And whatever is the maximum value among all of them, because this is how you will building a tree and you have this value, whatever is the maximum value you will find out here. You can just create a global variable to store this maximum value. You can just print it out. I hope you understand what is the overall idea that you want to use to particularly solve this problem out. And that's the overall idea that I have also used. Let's take the small example to understand all of that. Let's move on to the code part now, actually. So if I just show you the code part, what we have done is that we have made a global variable that is maxi that is storing out the very maximum value among all the paths. So whatever traversal I will do over the this tree, this, so I'm just doing a single traversal of this tree. Depending upon whatever node I have, I have to just mark out this LNR. Okay, so I will just do a single traversal of this tree and whatever the maximum value, this is the first value. I will just store it in maxi. Okay, so what we have done is that if I just go a little deep, I just uh, put this here, but I will just make this up. Okay. Now what you can see here is that what we have done is that we have called this function. So from the root, so if I, I have two options, let's say if I go on the right hand side, if I'm going on the right hand side, I will call this recursive function that will just do the traverse of this tree. So if I'm going on the, let's say right hand side, so right hand side, then this is the, the next value. And these two values are these two values. So the very first value will tell us. Okay, so I have length is okay, reversed. Okay, so this is the length. This is the length. Whatever the length I have traveled maximum reaching this particular node, that is this length. And this is the direction. So I have taken zero as the left and right as one. So I have gone to the right direction. I have reached this node going to the very right by doing a right traversal. So I have done R equal to one. So which means that direction I've reached this particular node by doing one, which means that I've reached there by doing a right move. Similarly, I can call this recursive function again for the left hand side of the tree as well. Going to the left hand side, I've done one traversal. So the length is equal to one and I have reached there by going to the left direction. So this is zero. So I've called this recursive function twice and I've returned the maximum that I have found out by doing a recursive function, recursive traversal and finding out the maximum. Okay. Now for every position, if I've reached the very node, like, uh, like the end of the, uh, let's say you can say leaf node, I will return null or let's say return because I have written void. But now, and if I have reached any particular intermediate node, I will first find out the maximum of this particular length that is here. What is the maximum value I have found out till now? That is here, stored here. Now, for every node, depending upon its direction, I have to move to, to like recursive fold. Like, like, so let's say, depending on the direction, I will, because I'm doing a traversal, okay, uh, over this complete tree. So I will go over left, traverse, left, right, left, right over every tree every that's node value. So how I will do it, how I will fill this value will depend upon the direction. Direction means that this direction, this L or R. So if let's say I land upon R, R means that this is one. So I have direction left is equal to zero and right is equal to one. So if else, which means that direction equal to one, which means that I am right. Then if I'm right, and what I will do is that if I go on the left side of the tree, left side of the tree, 
I will increment my length and I will change the direction like from left to right, left to right. And so from the from a node of right, okay. And if I go to the right hand side, I will not change the direction and I will make it as one. Similarly, if I'm on the left node, which is let's say having a value, let's say this 2L. So if I go to the left hand side, okay. So then if I from left, as you can see from left, if I go to the left hand side, then I will not change the direction and I will make it as one. But if I go to the right hand side, then I will change the direction and make my length plus one. Okay. This is the overall idea that you have to use depending upon what node I am on and what direction I want to go next deep down your tree. And then this will just build these two values for all the node values. And I will just maximize it over all the particular values and that's it. So this is just a traversal over this whole tree. So this will do one traversal. This will do one traversal, which is like O of N and O of N, but still it is O of N only the, because if you just add up both of them, it is still O of N. So that's the overall time complexity for this particular problem as well. And if you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box for this particular video. I will see you in a coding and bye.